So here we are. To find the mesocentral root canal, you simply have to know where to find it. Take the purple M2, go halfway between the mesolingual root canal and the first molar mesovestibular root canal. If it's not exactly in the middle, you probe all the space between the two root canals and if there is an engagement, you'll see it easily because the purple M2 has an aggressive spiral pattern which immediately penetrates into the dentin. You see how much rubble it's bringing out. Uh, it never gets stuck. You've got to, to have a very light touch to insert it into the root canal. Clearly, as soon as you feel an obstacle, you come out brushing in all directions in order to make it go down gradually. Then you probe the working length with the manual instruments to avoid sticking the M2 pin into a fork or a confluence. You put the irrigating solution to remove the dentin mud and you proceed with the classic instruments using the white, the yellow, the red, but also the blue one, always drilling measure wise in order to avoid the risk of stripping, which all in all I have never run. I mean, stripping a virgin tooth or even in a retreatment in a root canal that has never been treated before is very unlikely. Now you can see how an independent root canal access comes out. Actually, we don't know if it is independent up to the apex because most of the time it merges with other root canal, but when it comes to teeth like this one, which looks treated and sealed well until the bottom, I am pretty sure that either the tooth is fractured or the root canal has an independent end. Most of the time, the third root canal does not even exist. It's just a strip which connects the mesolingual root canal and the mesovestibular one that we then widen, uh, letting the irrigating solution in. We definitely improve the tertion and allow a major quantity of gutta perca to be pressed down, sealing everything properly and having more chances of healing. We see in another video that you need to go look for this root canal also in the second molars, so not just in the first molars. See you next time.